Saying good morning to meteorologist Sam Sam Perry. Sam, first ever heat advisory there, so you got to imagine that's a big deal. 104 degrees. I mean, that doesn't seem too crazy, but over there maybe. Well, it over is. there it is because yeah. where they're located, they're further up in the northern right. latitudes and they're surrounded by a cool ocean, so that it is a little bit unusual. And yeah. we're going to be dealing with our own heat in the seas. I was just going to say it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Big heat coming up uh, later on this week, so. Uh, Get ready for that. And we'll have a little bit of preview of some humidity starting up. And let's check out uh, Westbrook there. Joe sent this uh, to us yesterday evening looking south from the coastline. <clears throat> Long Island Sound there. So, uh, yeah, we had a couple of showers and storms roll on by. And we missed some big rains. We had some scattered storms yesterday. Got scattered showers, I should say, a little bit more than I would have liked to see. Uh, but at any rate, for today, you're going to the beach. It's okay. We're going to have a mix of sun and clouds. Slight chance for a shower. Highs getting up into the low 80s across the region. And uh, yeah, we'll do it again tomorrow. More of the same. I, although tomorrow, I think we're going to have more numerous showers and storms uh, coming in, especially during the afternoon. We need some rain. Some is coming on Monday. The question is how much and how does it all come together? We're talking about an isolated shower today, but the more numerous to scattered showers and storms on Monday and that extended heat wave possible, not only for Tuesday through Thursday, but also right through the rest of the week and into the weekend potential. The worst part of it would come on Thursday with the highest heat and humidity. Yeah, it's gonna be the melting forecast, all right. Some decent melting going on today. Uh, so yeah, kids get, uh, get onto that ice cream and ch check out what you can expect this week. Temperatures in the 90s starting on Tuesday and going all the way through the rest of the week and even into next weekend. The difference will be humidity will start to drop off on Friday. So temperatures right now are in the 60s to lower 70s. Not too bad to take. It is a little bit on the muggy side. Look at the dew points in the mid to upper 60s and near 70. When it gets above 70, it is oppressive. Visibility is down. We do have areas of fog. Uh, especially in some areas across western and southern areas. Look at the Connecticut River Valley is opened up. And right now we're taking a look at live Doppler and you can see that just a couple of light showers down here. These are the wind streams that you see, those little light green arrows running around. And basically what we have is high pressure up to our north and now slipping offshore. We have this frontal boundary that's kind of sitting here. And uh, this part of it is going to be moving in our direction for tomorrow into tomorrow night. Look at that move up. And when that does, we're going to get some rain and showers and storms, and then it gets hot and humid as we move through the middle and end of the week. And this high pressure system is going to continue to dominate, giving us that uh, southwest heat pump. And as a result of tomorrow, well, we do expect that uh, we are under a marginal risk of uh, strong thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. So for today in the 80s, tonight uh, we're back down into the low 70s. It's going to be mild and muggy. And we could have some scattered showers and storms. I'm putting this into motion for you. You can see temperatures in the 80s today. Slight chance for a shower, mostly cloudy tonight. Waking up the temperatures down in the 60s, lower 70s. Here comes a batch of rain. Here's uh, the system number one. And then look at some more showers and storms. And it looked by 4 o'clock tomorrow. Look at all this heavy rain moving along the arena. So we can get some much needed rain out of this. Let's hope we can do that. And then look at Wednesday. I skipped Tuesday just to show that Wednesday is going to be the hottest day of the year. Highs well up into the 90s. Here's your Fox 61 seven day forecast showing you that big heat on the way. Angelo, what a week to have off around here and go to the beaches and all the inland lakes. Uh, great summer week on the way.